Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in to another video of One Tool A Week. If you're new to the channels, we take a look at tools every week. So if you love tools, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So what is it that we're going to be taking a look at this week? Well, I went ahead and took a look at some things and I thought about it and we're going to make a new segment, guys. And that segment is going to call or be called workers on the go so that's gonna mean uh everybody's on the go guys i'm not just talking about our our trade but i am mostly gonna be aiming at our trade so a lot of us are construction if not you're in service you're in a vehicle but you're eating out a lot so if you're barely starting in the trade eating out takes up a lot of your money and it's going to be pretty expensive so on the average you're probably looking about maybe ten dollars a day that you're going to be spending out of five days uh, you're looking at fifty dollars that you could be saving so we're going to be putting together some small items that could help you out so we're going to put together a lunch section so things to take on your lunch uh so First of all, you're going to need something to keep that items cold. So if it's a small little pouch, um, I myself or other people's, most of y'all are probably not going to have a fridge available to you. So you got to keep your items either cold or hot. So we're going to be uh, throughout the series just expanding on that and adding items to it. So the first thing that I highly recommend for you to uh, take a look at if you're in the trade is going to be uh, keeping uh, lunch with you or taking lunch with you that way you could end up saving some money and i myself save up money that way i could uh purchase more tools on top of that it gets boring just eating out i'm sure if you're in the service or if you're in construction uh eating out just gets boring and it's the same items most of the times and you just go to the same places and it just gets repetitive so it's good to change it up every now and then so the first item that i went ahead and picked up was an actual cooler just to keep my lunch either cold or just have it stored inside the vehicle because the vehicle does get hot so i went ahead and i myself picked up a let me go ahead and grab it and put it right here. Now, I myself went and picked up this Pelican uh, 20 quart, as you can see right here. Now, this is going to be the Pelican. Uh, if you don't know about Pelican, they make great cases. They also make ice coolers. I'm sure you're more familiar with the Yetis, but uh, I myself just happened to like the way the Pelican looked. And it was a tad bit cheaper. You're looking about maybe $50 cheaper. Now, of course, it is made in the USA, as you can see right here. It's a little logo. And if you look up top of it, it's going to be made in the USA. So for all of you that only purchase USA products, there you go. Here's an ice chest that's made in the USA. Yes, Yeti's made in the US also, but some of their items are going to be made in the Philippines. Look it up. So with that being said, it's going to be made out of Pelican's plastic that they're known for and this is going to be a a polypurpling plastic and all their hardware inside as you can see right here it's all going to be stainless steel so on top of it getting used for work uh, you could go ahead and have it uh on the go if you go to the beach if you go hunting whatever the case is rough terrains it's going to be able to withstand the elements that way it's not wearing out on you now a couple things to keep in mind it is going to be insulated now the insulation on the inside is going to be a polyurethane foam keeping it nice and cold for up to two days but we'll get to that in a little bit now the outside diameters as you can see from here to here you're going to be looking at about 18 inches and from the side to side each end right here you're looking about 16 and a half inches and then the thickness right here or up top you're going to be looking at about 12 inches now this color right here is going to be the cactus green uh, pelican has multiple colors i myself have a white yeti the 45 and i seem to find that white is hard to keep clean uh, you have to always just keep on it and just maintaining it so i learned from that and i went ahead and picked up a different color just so i could uh keep that keep that ice cool ice chest nice and clean now another reason that i did not go with the yeti is because i felt like it was a tad bit more bulky the 20 uh i like the fact that this is tall i myself have a service vehicle so i'm able to keep uh my ice chest in the cooler and i also got a bigger one just to keep some spare waters for the apprentices and myself and that we could drink out throughout the day now this is like I said, this is going to be the cactus green uh, pelican has multiple colors and the bottom 
let's go ahead and flip this baby over here now at the bottom right here you're gonna have a non-skid rubbers and also they're gonna be non-marking resistant feet right here that way it keeps it still and again if you could see the bolts let me see if i could zoom in real quick if you could see the bolts they're going to be stainless steel on them so let's go ahead and flip it back up now another thing that the yeti's not gonna have it's going to be uh, molded in uh, four bottle holders right here of course that we can hold your sodas or your extracurricular uh, drinks that you do after work hopefully and it's gonna keep them nice and still that way you don't go anywhere another feature that i like and i'm sure y'all use y'all's ice chest for them if you do have them at work i use it as a seat so you go ahead and sit down on it or if you have a bucket go ahead and sit down it beats sitting down on the floor now the, it's gonna also come with a nice little carrying handle as you could tell right here uh, again stainless steel bolts right here on the side and then it's gonna latch a little lock right there and you're able to carry it it is a little bit heavy but you'll get used to it uh, it it's better than having a hot meal outside and it's just gonna keep your items nice and cold now let me go ahead and flip it over right here now the latches right here is another thing that i liked about them the latches unlike the rubber ones that you pull down and lift up it's just going to be a little push button right there and it's going to lift up as you can tell right there and you just slide it down and they're going to lock on their own so nice little feature right there from pelican that way you have easy access to your items and they stay locked in so another pretty sweet feature that it comes with if you could see right here this is going to be a bottle opener at the bottom that way you don't have to be finding it using your knife to open it or using whatever utensils you could find around just to open a bottle it's already built in it that way you could go ahead and pull your waters or your mineral waters if you know what i'm talking about and go ahead and open them up and enjoy a nice refreshing drink that that while you're at work or with the friends after work it doesn't matter whatever you're gonna go ahead and use this baby for now like i said the press lock latches now let's go ahead and open it up right here and take a look on the inside so as you can see right here if you can see these latches right here they're molded in that way that way you could tie it down so put in some straps right there and you're going to be able to tie down another thing that i forgot to mention the hole for this right here it's going to be in case you want to place a lock on it that way nobody uh takes your belongings or they grow legs and take off on it also you could add a latch to it and tie it down to your vehicle so we're going to go ahead and open it up and as you could see right there let me go ahead and flip it over here you're going to see the rubber gasket right here another thing that i didn't like about the pelican is that it has a separation right here let me see if we could zoom in as you could tell right there we have a separation it does make water come out if you're going to be using ice so if you have some extra gasket material go ahead and close it up on it but besides that that's just a small little flaw to the ice chest now the inside the dimensions on it, you're gonna be looking at, let's see right here. You're gonna have a 0.78 inch thick foam insulation. That way it keeps your uh, items nice and cold. Or if you're gonna keep it hot, it's gonna keep it hot on the inside. Now the dimensions is going to be 14 inches tall from, in, from the bottom to the top right here. And then you're gonna have 12 and three quarters of an inch wide right here and then on the this baby right here you're going to have about seven and a quarters of an inch now of course pelican claims that it could hold up to 15 cans or four bottles of wine so keep that in mind i myself carry my lunch and i'm going to be carrying some waters like i said some spare and that's going to be most use that i'm going to eat probably be using it maybe going out to the beach or something and relaxing on the coast uh carrying some extra drinks on the side but besides that it's going to be meant for work as far as this right here now another great thing about pelican it's going to offer a lifetime guarantee now the price for this baby you're looking about 149 dollars that you're going to end up spending while the competitors you're looking about maybe 200 dollars. i will say this i feel like the yetis do keep uh 
cold longer than the pelicans but for just a day use that i'm going to be using it or maybe two days it will keep the items nice and cold now keep in mind that they do recommend charging the item meaning uh, if you have some ice go ahead and put it in there the night before and then uh, the next day it's going to stay nice and cold so keep that in mind that way you charge your items and also don't leave the ice chest on the on the heat make sure you bring it in if you can and let it cool up on the outside and then uh once you charge it up and go ahead and put it back in your vehicle and then let it cool down it will last longer so another thing that i highly recommend you taking a look at let me go ahead and put this to the side it's going to be ice substitutes so if you're going to be taking a lunch to work uh every day and uh, you're probably going to be using up ice now if you add up that also you're probably looking at about a dollar a dollar fifty per ice every day now if you have an ice machine that doesn't count but just keep that in mind i highly definitely I highly recommend getting an ice substitute. So this is an ice substitute right here. Now this, you won't be able to find it on Amazon. This I went ahead and picked up at Walmart. So this is gonna be a four pound ice substitute and it's also gonna be made in the USA and Walmart's gonna be the seller for this. Now on Walmart, you're gonna be able to find it for $16 and 97 cents, which is a great bargain compared to the Yetis and Pelican. So the similar item compared to the Pelicans, the four pound ice I substitute or the ice pack, you're looking about for the Yeti, you're looking at $30 for one. And on the Pelican, they have a five pounder and that's going to be running $29.99. So you're looking for $30. I went ahead and picked up two of these babies. That way one stays in the freezer and the next day I just end up swapping them over. That way my ice chest is always cold and it's always ready to go. So that's going to be it guys. As always, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have some items that y'all would like to share with me as far as taking for lunch or how you take your items to lunch, I would appreciate it that way i could take a look at them and this is going to be the new segment creating a lunchbox like i said a lot of you are probably just apprentices learning and seeing what the trade is about uh part of it is probably taking your lunch just in case you don't have enough money to spend uh at lunchtime believe me it does add up but as always guys thanks for watching one tool a week guy